had to go right, so it should be yeah. Not my answer, but let it fall. Hello people, it's our people. Hello yeah, people. Are they? Alright. What me? Excellent. Okay, so oh somebody's liked it already. Someone's going <laughs> somebody's going into the routine. Yes, please like, subscribe, um, and follow and share. <laughs> so every time. Got to get used to saying it. Please hello, like, hello, subscribe. People. Hello. Uh, if anybody's here. Maureen, good, oh, Leah. you've just moved the camera, Brian. So, um Hi Maureen. Do you want to turn me down? Otherwise, I, I have to listen to myself. So, Brian is here. So, um, the skin of his teeth after working night shifts. Yeah. So, um, so it's a bonus for him to be here. Um, so. Jody Maddy. Good morning gonna, to yes, you. Yes. Good morning. Good well, good afternoon. Here. Good afternoon from here. Good morning to you. <laughs> That makes, that makes sense. Leah Foy. Hi, Leah Foy. Uh, oh, we've got so we've got uh, we've got Maureen, Maureen Leah, Leah Glasby, Leah Foy, Leah Foy Jody, Martin. Jody Martin, Jody Breslin, Jody They're Breslin. Right, yeah, cool. <laughs> two Leahs, two Jodies. <laughs> yeah, two, yes, just so we're doubling up. We need another Maureen. Um, <laughs> there is no other Maureen. No, exactly. <laughs> Leslie. They broke the mold when they made Maureen. So. Um, Unlike me, when they bre when they made me, they smashed the mould. They were like, I don't want another one of them. Leslie. <laughs> Hi, Leslie. Dawn. <laughs> Hi, Dawn. Yeah, Leslie's still been watching my back catalogue, I've noticed. Um, <laughs> Hi, Dawn. Hi, Jean. Um, I, 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 sorry, every time I say hygiene, I just think of hygiene. So, apologies. Um, so, yeah, cool. Great. Who else? Anybody? No? Okay, cool. Okay, so um, I've got something to talk about before we start. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start with please like this video, please subscribe if you don't already. Um, please comment. Feel free to comment. Brian is here. He's going to be the moderator. Um, although he doesn't have his glasses on, so he might not be able to see what you've said. Um, and I'll be like, oh, you can't say that. Oh, she did. <laughs> oh no, it's me, I can't read. <laughs> so yeah, so just so yeah, please like, please subscribe, please comment if you want to. So that's whether you're in the live now or later afterwards. Um please feel free to comment. And please share it with your crafty folk. So um I have to be careful I would say that. So the other thing I want to talk about is um I have have I've been having a think about this. I would like to open up my design team to two further members. Okay, so whether you're watching live or you're watching um, as you know uh, um, on the pre on the re-record pre-recorded yeah on yeah dead whatever. No, if you're watching live or you're watching it as a recorded video, I don't know. Yeah. That's carry on. yeah. Carry on. Sense. You are making sense. I don't normally make sense, so it makes, it's really <laughs> difficult when I oh, when I start do start making sense. I, I, I doubt myself. <laughs> so the cri I have some criteria for it. Okay, so so remember it's a design team. So you must have a YouTube channel of your own. Okay, and. Um, Instagram or Facebook as is a bonus, okay, but it, you need to have a, a YouTube channel with Instagram or Facebook as a bonus. If you don't have Instagram or Facebook, then that's absolutely fine, as long as you've got a YouTube channel, okay? You will get early access to all, free early access to all digitals, okay? So that's like all of my digitals, you'll get the free access to it. Um, so Joe and Leslie, their current design team, um, members, so is Brian. They can testify to the fact that they, you, they get these free images. You can um, use these for your own use and commercial use. So uh, that means that you can sell things on Etsy having used my kits to make it with one 
proviso and that's that you tag me and you name my kit so whatever kits you've used you tag me and you name the kits and you link my Etsy if it's in, if you're showing doing a walkthrough on your video on your YouTube video or on Facebook or Instagram that you link me okay um, you choose what you want to make and when you want to make it anybody that's on my design team can testify to this that I have never put anybody under any pressure to make anything for me and that's the reason why I'm opening up the scope so instead of having three people on design team I'm opening it up to five which means that I'll get a bit more regular kind of things um, I'd like there to be diversity in what's been made so I will not tell you what to make and when to make it um, you make it at the frequency you want to as much as you want when you want um, and whatever you want okay so I, I would quite like some people to be making other things other than journals because journals I really appreciate take a lot of time um, but I'd, um, I'm, you know, very aware that lots of people are junk journalers and they make lots of things with, um, you know, for junk journals. So, um, if you wanted to make just lots of ephemera to go in a pre-existing journal or in somebody else's kit, as long as you're obviously naming them and they don't mind being tagged in with me, then that's absolutely fine. Okay. So you can already be on a design team for somebody else. I'm just pointing that out. Okay. So what you need to do okay in order to do this so you need to send me an email to dash of dave at gmail.com so i'll tell you what that actually is is dash as in d-a-s-h underscore of o f underscore dave d-a-v-e at g-m-x dot com now that is printed on my mat um, so when I go to the overhead, you'll be able to see it and I will reference to it um, at that point. So it's dash underscore of underscore Dave at GMX as in golf mic x-ray. OK, dot com. You need to tell me why you want to be involved. OK, so what's why? Why do you think that this is the right thing for you to do? Why do you want what do you want to you know what do you want to get out of it? And what do you want to put into it? Um, and you know, just why, why me, why me? Um, so <laughs> and, um, a photo of your best work so far. Okay. I can't decide for you what your best work is. I can't decide what my best work is. So I can't decide for you, for you. So send me, if you want to send me two or three photos, then that's absolutely fine, but please don't send me. Here are 480 photos of my latest things. And I can't decide just, I, I don't want to be like doing admin for the rest of the year just to get a design team member okay if you want more details or you have any more questions then please email me obviously at dash underscore of underscore dave at gmx.com um then i'll answer your questions there if you're in the live now and you've got like a little question you might want to ask then do it and you know Brian will read it out to me. Remember, if you're asking me a question in a live chat, you must type it in capital block capital letters. That way I know and Brian knows that you're talking to us, okay, rather than just having a chat amongst yourselves. If you are watching this as a pre-recorded video, then please just put a question in the chat and I'll try and come back to you ASAP. Um, and I'll still haven't caught up with everybody's chat yet. So, um, so uh, remember, it's got to the focus. I'm really sorry. I don't want to sound like I'm being like a diva, but the focus has got to be on helping me to build my channel. Yeah. And my, and the notoriety of my work, of course, anything I show, if you sent me something and it was something you'd made with my work, I would of course link you, but the focus has got to be on helping me to build my channel and build the notoriety of my of my digitals so um you know that's kind of that's the kind of thing you have to get used to with the conversation i've been on a design team um well i've been an ambassador for a um an organization brian's been on a design team he knows what it's like unlike most design teams i'm not dictatorial so i will not tell you you need to make this you need to do 46 things throughout the year they need to be in this kind of colorway or this particular kit i might try to influence you so i will have a group chat 
So where I'll ask you to, I will be setting that up, by the way, it's not been set, sorted. I'll be setting it up where I might be asking you, you know, can somebody next time use um, this kit or that kit because it's not had any kind of showcasing. So that's it. That's my announcement. So should we get on with the rest of the video? So if you do have any questions, that's fine. If you think you might be interested, and remember I'm picking two. So if I get more than two people apply, <laughs> I'll be really lucky. No, if I get more than two people apply, then I um, will obviously have to go and you know have a chat. I might even have a chat with our existing design team members, okay? Because that help they'll help me to kind of decide the best person and what's right for what situation. Um, and then it becomes less personal. So anyway, should we go on? Yeah, let's. On. So I'm going to move you over. Whoa. <laughs> so oh, put that in there. Don't turn it off, Dave. Is it? Can we see? Well, I can see, but I don't know whether I can see all of them at. Don, has Tom the tendon away from the bone around? Tom the tendon away from the bone around my rotator cuff. So I'm not very active at the moment. What? A, what a ro what's? I don't know what a rotator cuff is. I don't is. know, but it sounds painful. So yes, it does. Oh my god! I don't know what it is, but it sounds. But as soon as you said I've torn the tendon, I, go, <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I need to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, folks. Here we go. Okay, so we'll get on with this in a minute, but I am going to do this again, okay? Because more people have bought me a coffee or sent me a, a, a Kofi. Okay, so you guys, so Catherine Hawks has, has also joined the list. Some of you also have also sent me some more so um, money, so I'm really, really massively grateful, humbled, can't express. Um, I also had an Etsy sale today, which I, mean, <laughs> I feel like, woohoo, because I haven't had any Etsy, Etsy sales um, since I released the last kit, the last two kits, three kits, five kits, whatever it was. So anyway, so yes, thank you to all of you people. Without you, I am, I don't know, two pieces of paper. You are the glue to the two pieces of paper that I stick together. Yes, or I am just the da No, I'm just the Dave. I wouldn't be the Dash. I'm always going to be Dave. That's true. But without the without the um, you guys, I would be just merely Dave. So anyway, uh, so as I'm Dash of Dave, thanks very much. Um, so my email address here it is. It's dash underscore of underscore Dave at g m x.com okay that's who you need to um contact in order to you know uh, just by by applying doesn't mean to say you have to be on the design team by the way so if you want to apply and then you like want to back out later on absolutely fine okay so are we happy should we go on let's do this okay so remember we did the um, these, so I did a video where I'm, so we, we made the covers on the last live. I've done two videos during the week. So one where I've made these journals, um, which way up is it Dave? I think it's that way. Um, and one where we made these journals. Okay. So now these were made with the Tim Holtz stuff and these were made with napkins, but I also wanted to kind of just go through the fact that I was doing some experimentation, okay? Because, you know, like you do, um, I didn't blow the house up or anything like that. I used some of my own papers. So these are actually just digitals printed on normal paper, normal copy paper, copy, uh, copy paper, but uh, just slightly thicker copy paper. Um, blimey, the, the, I've just seen the chat move up really quickly then. It's like streaming through. Sorry, uh, we're just we're just plugging in because um, the iPad's about to die. Um, so this is using... Uh, it's got a bit of string stuck to it. So these were just samples. 
So this was using my kits and they were just this, the regular kind of copy paper, you know, the printouts that we do for it, for digitals, okay? Um, and I wanted to show you that you can still do it. So if you don't have any tissue paper, you don't have any of the Tim Holtz tissue paper. Oh, by the way, we bought this. Um, we went shopping to, uh, where, where, when did we go? Friday? We went to Elsica, um, uh, and it's got a it's a heritage place, and it's got a craft store there. And so anyway, I bought bought this. Okay, so I've got another one to go to with kit, but I still can't get the the flower one. Okay, Marcia's going. So oh hi Marcia, um so. So the tendon that she's done is um, in her shoulder, and she's ripped to the other tendon. Oh, don't please! Like, if you want me to throw I'm up, I, I, please get well soon. Is all I will say. Because if you want me to throw up, I will happily do that live now. If you keep talking about it, it makes me feel, feel <laughs> physically feel, makes me feel uncomfortable. So, um, so yeah. So I did the t did the tissue paper one. Yeah, and then we did the napkins. So I just wanted to talk about the fact that if you don't have napkins, don't go out and buy loads of napkins. Well, I can't say that because like, I can't stop buying napkins. Um, and don't have, you don't have to go and buy Tim Holtz tissue paper. You can, of course, absolutely use the just normal tissue paper. Now, I did buy some tissue paper recently, and I can't... All oh, right. Okay, so... Brian has moved it, so I'm just going to go and try and find it. <laughs> yeah, well, I know it, it was just brand new, so. So I bought these recently. I've got loads of tissue paper. To, uh, trust me, I do not need to buy any more tissue paper. I just wanted to. So um, these are VNA things. So bought a variety of different. This isn't a VNA. I just liked it. Um, I think I bought another VNA. I'm sure there's another VNA. What oh, is there? I think. Uh, uh. No, no, is it not there? Oh, maybe not. Maybe I just bought, maybe I bought three. Yeah, okay. But I've got loads of tissue paper, trust me, I do not need to buy You've tissue paper. You've got there on the desk, I know the file that I put in. Yeah, I know, that's what I mean. Maybe I bought three from that one plate. Oh, so, this is more tissue paper, I just wanted to show you this one. Okay, so, you can make it with normal tissue paper, and that's exactly what we're going to do today. So we're going to make some with tissue paper, and we're going to make some with just normal, normal paper. So just printed right, copy paper. Okay, just bear with me a second. Let me just finish this. So I'll put those to one side, and I'll explain what I'm going to do. Brian just wants to ask me a question or t tell me something. Or Leah Fry wants to know what is V and A. The Victoria and Albert Museum. So that's not a VNA, Dave. This is a VNA. Leah, it's actually V and A. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the way we speak. Yeah. V. Yeah, yeah not V and A. What is V V N A? All right. So, yeah. No, it's yeah. just the way we speak. Yeah. So V and A. Sorry. Um. One. <laughs> one must. Um. Enunciate. Dave. One. This is the BBC. <laughs> so this is the BBC. And this is the V and A. So, yeah, so it's VNA and it stands for the Victoria and Albert Museum. Um, so they have a lot of. Design museum, basically. Yeah, they have a lot of design um, things, designy things, um, and they. The biggest collection of wallpaper in the world. Okay, so they have the biggest collection of wallpaper in the world, apparently, according to Brian. So, not like modern wallpaper. You can't go in there and tear off a sample. <laughs> um, it's, you know, the old stuff. So, we're going to make some using some copy paper and we're going to make some using some tissue paper. Now, the difference between these two, okay, so these are both my designs. So, obviously, when you're brushing over with anything that's wet, you're going to kind of smear and smudge some of the colours. So, the colours kind of go a bit more muted, but I like that because it kind of gives it a bit more of an antique feel. So, this one was made just using... Um, copy paper and this one was where I'd wetted the paper with water first so it kind of gets that kind of like um floofy texture to it and then glued it down and mod podged over it okay so there's you get two different uh, you can't really tell but you might be able to hear so this one is more 
No, not really. <laughs> more floofy. It feels different. It feels more... What would you say? More matte feeling what to the it. The so paper. To the... How, the, how it feels. No, not th these two, because these are two different ones. So this is wetted paper, and this is not wetted paper. Uh, that one, what's that one in your hand? The wetted paper. That's got more of a... Brian's struggling now. Like a yes, it. that's it. Like a, a brushed, <laughs> like a brushed <laughs> cotton feel, or a suede, or a mole skin. It has, mole. It has a nap. Nap. Yes, I could do with a nap. So, <laughs> but that's another thing. So, I presented to you wearing a lovely shirt. I just want to give you a bit of an uh, um, proviso. I am not going to do any gluing wearing this shirt i'm just gonna you're just gonna have to give me a second brian will just talk to you while i change i'm not doing it on camera either i'm not um i'm not I'm, I'm not giving details because we don't want him feeling ill but i have to say i'm glad i'm in this country with our health service where we don't have to wait for insurance to pay for tests and things like that it's got a bit awful especially when you're in pain constantly um so i hope it gets sorted <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I'm not going to give you details because I don't want anybody to be ill <laughs> because Dave's taking his top off. So, <laughs> I was going to say, rude. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. No, but rather than just not talk about it anymore, yeah. When yeah. we're just not talking yeah. no, I'm about sorry. it. Yeah. I, I, I don't mean to be rude. I'm not, not disinterested in your predicaments no that's why we're, we're not giving specific details but, yeah. we're talking around it we're talking around it because i uh, i will genuinely be sick i can't talk about people being ill especially if they're torn broken cut something i really yeah. don't i don't be Ill. i don't like it when people show me things i mean i'm a first aider which is not a bit, a bit unfortunate really because if somebody's bleeding i'll probably pass out on them um but but i I will. I'm. I just squirm over things like that. So I'm really sorry. I'm a bit squeamish about when, things. When he told so. me he was the first aider at work, I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> really? I don't. I don't get. I don't get. I don't get <laughs> I'll just point clarify. I don't get paid any extra for it, by the way, either. So like, it's not like I'm doing it for the money. So we're gonna do. Um, so I want to do some using my digitals because I've become a design team member myself. So we're going to use some of these. I don't know what, um, which ones and how many we'll get through, but so I want to use um, some of these. So this is from Impasto. That's from the Impasto Collection. <laughs> this is from Lepidoptera Collection, which Lepidoptera just means um, butterfly. I just didn't want to call it butterfly. Um, this is from Ma Plethora, and this is also from Impasto. Okay, so I'm going to make things with. I'm going to take that one out and use that one first. See you later, Leah. She had to go to church. Oh, bye, Leah. So, oh, hope you feel better. It was Leah, wasn't it? No. No, sorry, wrong person. No. <laughs> I thought you said Leah. No. Leah Fogg went to church. Yeah, I thought it was Leah that was not very well. Who is it then? Brian can't even tell me. Anyway, so let's get on with this because otherwise, like, so, so what I used last time, so you remember I used Dawn, was it Dawn? Sorry, Dawn. Um, sorry, Leah. Sorry, Dawn. I just get confused. All right, so I can't get the lid off it. So you know how I use some of Jamie? Hi, Dave and Victor. Capital S. <laughs> you don't have to shout it though. John said, "Right, Jamie, I'm nosy too. I want Victor stories." <laughs> so, the things are very good with me and Victor, very good indeed. So we've seen quite a lot of each other in the last week. I can't open this. Okay, don't. It's it's oh, it's moving. Hang on, just let me get. Oh, that, that's why I can't open it because it's actually glued down. So, uh, yeah, things are going very well. Um, I'm still very happy, um, and uh, yeah, I've, we've seen a lot of each other this week. Take that as you will, um, and 
um, I'm, you know, his his shift patterns have changed a bit, so we we won't see so much of each other this coming week, and also because I'm back at work. <laughs> My two weeks leave are over. <laughs> So, although you can, I... You can tell he's happy because he still goes, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I still have a giggle when I say Victor. Well, Vic, of course. Um, yeah, so I still have a bit of a giggly moment about that. So, so I bought myself these from that same craft place that I went to. Some bigger brushes because I thought, oh, that's going to go on the floor and crash. Move that. Because I thought I could do with some wider brushes for when I'm doing stuff like this. I don't know how that won't go in there, will it? <laughs> That's great. These wider brushes that don't actually fit in the pot. So, anyway. Because what I tend to do is I tend to forget to... I think that might be a bit soft, that brush. It is. It's too soft. So I bought those and they're not fit for purpose. So... <laughs> So I shall use question. them for something else. What's that? I said, Georgie, that's a big question. What is it? What's the big question? It says, Dave, are you falling? Question mark. No. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, um, uh, might be. <laughs> might be. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it's, it's true. Guilty as charged, Your Honour. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I. although I don't feel I am in... You know, different circumstances, so... No, I definitely am, so... We're both in a very similar sort of mindset regarding these things, so... It's really good. Sorry, I'm just cleaning this brush, which is the unconventional way of scraping the stuff off that I didn't... that dried on there last time. Um, but it's one of those nylon brushes, so it's, like, not really going to damage it. It's not like it's fine, whatever, rabbit tail or whatever whatever they make brushes out of. Is that rabbits they make it out of? Well, what? The brushes. Do they make brushes out of rabbit hair? For mm, the well, fine well. ones, you know, the old oh, squirrel and stuff like that. Poor squirrels. Well, asking, is it mostly not canvas that you're using? It is cheap. <laughs> it's canvas. It's canvas, yeah. I don't actually know what the difference... No, I do. I do know what the difference is. Muslim is... Um, it, muslin is something that you use for cooking with because I've made jam using. I wouldn't make use this for jam, so. Brian thinks it would make it taste funny if I use this for jam, so. Um, not to jam. I'm not going to make it flavoured with this, so. Canvas flavoured jam. <laughs> There we go. Cleaned it. Well, I kind of cleaned it. It's all right. It'll do. It'll do for our purposes. Maybe try and clean it properly next time, Dave, rather than leaving it out to dry. So so I rescued this. This had gone solid from Mod Podge, so I've left it in some water and it's kind of reconstituted itself. Um, and it's come back to life. Back to reality. Back to the here and now. He says, singing a tune that probably nobody in the world remembers. Everybody remembers soul to soul. Back to life, back to reality, back to the here and now, yeah. Speaking of muslin, have you got any? What, muslin? Yeah. I do have some muslin somewhere. Um, it's the, my old jam making stuff, so why? You want it? All right. Well, you have to you'll, uh, you'll have to find it before you can have some. So, we've got any? Funny asking really anything? Likes this technique. It's very therapeutic. I'm a bit kind of like. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make. I've got to make a whole load of things to use some of my book paper stash, and also because um, I need to get some more things in my Etsy. So some like proper physical things in my Etsy. Rather than just listing one or two things I want to go on and anybody that knows what listing in Etsy is like will know that it's easier to sit there for two hours and list 12 things than it is to sit there for two hours to list one thing. So 
because it doesn't matter how many things you list, it seems to take the same length of time. So, Geordie, no and no. <laughs> what? Are you getting married and do and need a hat? Brian, no. Are you dating or in your love interest? All oh, right. So, Brian, no. Brian's not dating, as far as, well, as far as he's just said, I don't know. No and no. No and no. Well, no, they're not. So Brian, Brian, <laughs> Brian's being disparaging about men. <laughs> so um, <laughs> they're not all. Not all of them. I'm not, no, and he's. Believe, yeah. So. No, I'm just not. So no, I'm he's. Not so he's not. He's not just not dating. It's just not cricket either. So. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to be uh, so like he's going to be that cranky old man apparently that's going to. Well, I don't think you'll just keep the ball if it comes into somebody's into his yard. He'll burst it with yeah, a burst, <laughs> it <and send> it <laughs> burst it and throw it back over the fence. <laughs> so, I want my ball back. That's not how I wanted my ball back. <laughs> so. I so rather than using up all of the cameras, I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to stick it down. Stick it. Where's my thing? There we go. It's true, Maureen. All the good ones are. Squeegee. Squeegee. Kind of squeegee it on. Oh, that's not true, is it? All the good ones are taken. That's what I would say, would have said about a few, a few okay, months so ago. So essentially, I gave up on the whole dating thing for a while because I got sick of messages like, "My boyfriend doesn't understand me," "My wife doesn't understand me," um, "What else?" I don't really want. Anything, I don't understand I, me. I don't, really <laughs> anything, I don't really want anything serious. Um, but you look cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Don't have the patience. <laughs> it probably is the Capricorn. <laughs> oh, is that, is that a thing? It says must be the Capricorn sign. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> is that a thing? Is that a trait of Capricorns? I don't know. <laughs> so, as you can see, the colour will run from this, and also you might need to reshape it a little. So, bear in mind it's still wet, so you're just going to have to... Be careful because it will wrinkle because it's paper it's going to stretch it's yeah it's going to wrinkle because <laughs> it's old like us that's that's true so i'm just gonna kind of stretch it out a bit and i, I really don't mind that the color kind of runs and bleeds and does funky stuff because it all adds to the fun of it actually so that's what gives it that kind of more antique -y kind of look and obviously this is going to run a lot because this has got a lot of color in it. it's got a lot of red in it so and then i'm just going to go over it again with this but a bit drier and just kind of spread it out a bit more so you don't get any patches of blobs of very thick color on it so <laughs> there we go see you could also, which I'm going to do, well, try and get done, is collage with it. So you could collage onto here and get... You're all right, Maureen. Um, I didn't make the connection. <laughs> what, what? Sorry, what? Hey, Maureen what? says, <laughs> Lord Brian, all the good ones are taken, then further down she put. Um, except Brian, of course, he's one of the good ones that aren't taken. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dig deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Jody Martin says, when you stop looking, someone will come along. I'm not looking, and somebody will. And I kind of, I do firmly believe that there's no point chasing around looking for it, which is... I'm just going right, to move this. When the right one's there, he'll turn up and knock on the door. And... Someday your prince will come. I didn't know you'd ordered any photos. So... Oh. Do you know what? If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't really mind. I'm can quite, I'm quite you... happy with my life. Brian, can I just let you know that yeah. this is here? Do not, do not walk, walk into it. it and go. Uh, stuck to me. If I face plan that, then it's never. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
so I've only put it there because I can't get to the table, so I can't dry on the table. So true family friends and a fun and a full life. It's all good. Oh, and a a, a decent bank balance. <laughs> It's always nice. Uh, no. a decent bank balance are nice, but we manage without one. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the end. Of, it's not the be all and end all, is it? <laughs> It'd be nice to have a decent bank it balance. It would be nice to have a decent bank balance, but you know. Um, I think I'm running out of the podge of Modge. I mean, no, it's a big, a big, 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 big thing of it here. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't mean like running out, but like, can you pass me some so I can remix? I am, Maureen. I'm happy as am. Well, kind, I'm kind of. <laughs> this is another one I can't get rid of. It's but I've had the big love of And we spent a lot of years together. And I don't know that that'll ever be replaced. And I don't know if that's it. I don't know if that's why. I don't look for anybody. But I spent nearly 20 years with somebody and was incredibly happy. And so I don't worry about it. I've had, if it comes to it, I've had the happiness. And if it does come, then I'll well enough. So whereas, there's no, point, there's no point stressing. Whereas I spent 14 years with somebody who <laughs> basically ruined my life. So, <laughs> so that's uh, you know, I haven't I haven't had my my the love of my life. So, let's see if that's um, let's see if it's the right consistency before I kind of just abandon all hope. Oh, I don't know, is that... No, oh, it's all right. It's mixing in, it's all right. I thought it was too watery, but no, it's fine. It was just the water sat on the top. Right, okay, now that's all, like, right up the handle. Great, Dave. Good stuff. Well done. So this is great. a great way to kind of spread out your Mod Podge as well, so you don't need loads of it. You just need to water it down and let it go further, so... It's all gone very quiet, Brian, on your end. Because I'm green. All right. <laughs> Anybody got anything to say? Yes, Maureen, I believe that too. So as long as you have everything, fine. Basically. Yeah, absolutely. Um, God says it used to bother me, now it doesn't. If you've got good friends and, you know, you're kind of okay, aren't you? If you're kind of on your own and you feel a bit lonely, then... Maybe not so much. So, um, uh, Dawn says she was with, married for 18 years to someone that taught me so. Um, uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, but so am I. I don't know. So much of what I know I didn't want in my life. All right, so she's. Oh, right, okay, she's yeah. She's in your camp. Yes, so, yeah. <laughs> she's been down that road. Yeah, she. <laughs> So this is, I'm going to do a Lepidoptera one now, but what I'm doing is I'm wetting this one first. And the reason for wetting it, I'm, do, I'm sorry, I'm not doing it on camera because, like, it'll make my Mod Podge wet. The reason for wetting it is it's less likely to pucker up when you put it down because it's already wet it's not gonna well it will wrinkle less because it's already wet <laughs> Dave thanks for explaining that again 15 <laughs> times <laughs> so here am I busy chatting and you lose drying <laughs> so Brian is currently off camera working on a, a bit of design team project I think he felt a bit guilty Right, is that why? Is that why you were like, oh no, he's talking about design team, better do something. No, no, <laughs> no, I, I don't ever, like I say, I don't, I, I, I just want to get this across, I don't make people feel that they have to do anything. Is that right? <laughs> no, you don't, I'm only joking. No. no, do I? No, you don't. All right, okay. Um. Yeah, so like you can, you make it your own um, pace, Joe, and Leslie make whatever they want when they want to make it. Um, and, you know, I've not been dictatorial about that. I'd like a bit more variety in those things. So I'd like, you know, yeah, different. Extending. Yeah. 
different, you know, different perspectives, different ideas. And that's also why I won't be dictatorial, because if I said, I want you to make X, Y, and Z, that doesn't allow for your creative flair. And I really know what that's like when you're told, you have got to make this by this date. And it doesn't help your creativity in any way, shape, or form. So, anyway, I feel like I'm laboring the point. Then so, you do not feel horrible that you can't do more. No, absolutely not. Like Leslie, you're, you you're you absolutely not what? Doing very well, yeah, or absolutely. To stop your health out, so I don't what want. You do make is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Don't ever feel and don't feel that that's the. I'm just opening the scope up and, you know. And I realise that people have full-time jobs, you know, like Joe, you know, I said, she's got a job, you know, and Brian's got a job. Well, Brian's got a job, but Brian doesn't sleep. Um, but <laughs> that's why he's made more. And also, you know, I, I know him and I see him and, you know, et cetera. But and he gets it I don't... I haven't done anything for nine days because I've worked nine days in the shop. But... Yeah. So I don't expect anybody to, to do anything. I certainly don't want anybody feeling guilty about what they do or what they don't do. So let's cut this one down now. Let's not cut your mat, Dave. Let's just do it like that. So, sorry, just bear with me while I kind of just concentrate. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this one. Brian, I need your help. I need to know where I can put this. Brian? I'm watching you cut it while thinking. All right. <laughs> I just need it off the desk. Because <laughs> I was going to put it, the last time I just left them to dry on the table, but of course the table's full of. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> There's that, what about that mat there? What mat there? That, that, that mat there, that's sticking out there, that mat. That map, yeah, put it on that and put it somewhere. Yeah. Right, so, okay, let's do one with a bit of tissue this time. Yeah, it's very wet, Brian. And I can hear Brian in the background going, eh. <laughs> he's, oh, now he's going to wash his hands because he's. <laughs> It's yeah. You're, that's just the the other thing is you will need to know where you are going to dry these things. So obviously, if you're going to dry outside, that's great. But remember, you've just covered it all in glue, and if you know the local tree sheds all of its leaves or pollen or you know floofy bits or whatever, it'll all get stuck to it. So just bear that in mind. Um, or like suddenly a sandstorm whips up in your area then that will be all stuck to it as well so just bear that in mind because like i thought i'd better just say that because i have dried things outside and just not even thought about it and then thought ah oh, that's why you know all of these petals and this blossom is stuck to this so, but drying st stuff outside is is difficult in the uk because <laughs> it's unpredictable our weather James says, what do we need you to hold this? What's going on? Oh, the, the, I think they mean that. The thing right. you've just taken out there. <laughs> Worcester, take this. He'd be like that. <laughs> yeah, for, like, I can't eat ah, it. Yeah. <laughs> I've tried to eat it, but I can't eat it. So I'm going to make this. I'm going to make one out of this one. Sorry? I said, oh, look, you've got two likes now. I just I just wondered if I could like it to be. Oh, right. I see. You've liked it. I would see. I thought you said lights. That's why I said. Huh? So you've liked your own, essentially. Can I subscribe to Yes. Can I subscribe to me? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. No, I'm sure I can't, actually. No. I was going to say, I'm sure I can, but I'm sure I can't. I'm just going to kind of cut this down. So this is just normal tissue paper. This is nothing special. This is obviously it's printed, so it's not just plain blank tissue paper. Sorry, Brian, I'm not putting that there for you to, to annoy you. It's just out of my way. Sorry, this one's V and A, yeah. 
so this is just gonna so again this is tissue paper so this is obviously not on a roll so it's not perfectly flat when you get it but so you're gonna need to kind of just smoosh it out but you can make it with normal tissue paper is what I'm trying to get at don't feel that you have to go and buy Tim Holtz much as we love Tim Holtz he's not helping any of us save any money so we're helping to build his fortune so that he can have his nice house in wherever it is in Arizona, I think he really, I believe he lives. Um, we're not, he's not helping us <laughs> to keep our houses over our heads. <laughs> there we go, so that's that. I'm just going to go over the top, gently going over the top because it's tissue paper, we don't want to tear it. And this is what kind of gives it that kind of plaster coated um, feel to it. So it becomes a bit like, um, like vinyl style thing. But you know that, you know, no, no dolphins have suffered at the hands of, uh, you know, I don't know, a corporate... Shut up, Dave. <laughs> Couldn't finish the sentence because I have no idea what I'm talking about. So <laughs> you're not buying into a mass market. That's what I mean. So, like, you know, vinyl's not good for the environment, but you know, a bit of Mod Podge never hurt anybody <laughs> unless you drink it. So, so that's that. So. This is the only problem. You really do have to have places to dry things. I might have to, this might have to go in the bath. Can I give you that, Brian? To go and put somewhere. You can put it in the bath if you like. I'm sorry, Brian, I know that it's a pain in the backside. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know, I'm it, but in the bath, I said. Over the bath. Yeah, over the bath or whatever. So, um, so yeah, let's uh, let's regroup now. So let's fold this back up again. My tissue paper. Fold that over. So like you can get obviously get nice tissue paper from every, you know anywhere that kind of sells wrapping paper really. Um, in the UK, you know, there's obviously, you can get some, used to be able to get some nice stuff in paper chase. These days you can't find anything in paper chase. It's, it's changed hands and so they've, they've diluted the brand slightly, haven't they? Yes? Right. Yeah? Yeah, it's rubbish. It is. So, yeah, don't like, we don't like paper chase anymore. We used to. It's not as good as it used to be. Um, I used to work for it, I had to like it. Yeah, no, but like, I also liked it before you worked for it. I liked it anyway, but I didn't. It doesn't sell anything now. Barnes and Noble do it nicely. Sorry? Barnes and Noble. For nice tissue paper. Oh, right. We don't have Barnes and Noble, but they do. I don't know what Barnes and Noble are, so. Waterstones. Oh, are they? Oh, right. That's like that kind of thing. Oh, right. Do, water, do our Waterstones sell tissue paper? Um, yeah. Yeah. Usually the V&A stuff. Oh, I've got a, um, uh, um, I've got a request from, oh gosh, Dave, get rid of that. Uh, your, uh, your reply, dog toy. Okay, so I've got a request. I want to buy Worcester a dog toy that he's, he's had the dog toy that duraplay thing oh yeah he's had a dog toy for a for a very long time okay and we used to be able to get these in b&m which is uh, just a cheap store in the uk and we used to be able to get these so these duraplay so either a, a bone or a ball we used to get these for 3.99 and they don't do them anymore um and i've been trying for ages and now um Oh, there's one there for five, but that's not bad. Um, but like, they're like between ten and twenty pounds to buy each. But apparently, they're widely available in America. So if you can get hold of one, it means that I'll have to pay. I can pay less than, you know, 
20 quid for one, um, let me know. Uh, also email me. Um, and I will wire you the money. Wire you, because I'm, like <laughs> I'm 500 years old. So um, <laughs> I won't send you a cheque, don't worry. Um, uh, Jamie, I think we've looked at Amazon. Our Amazon is more expensive. What for? These? Yeah, we just Amazon. yeah did, we have checked Amazon. We used, uh, um, so let me just have a look. So but It's that weird thing of, because we have Amazon UK, where it's expensive. We could order it off the American version of Amazon at a cheaper price and a massive amount of postage. Yeah. So they are by Hearts. So I can buy them in the UK. I can buy three of them. For thirty one pounds and ninety nine pence, and that's currently got nine percent saving. So, uh, no. <laughs> it's, it's he only, likes them. It's he's the only toy he's ever had that he's treated like a child. And yeah, he carries it around and pieces. carries it around, and he looks after it and he curls around it. He's got one, and it's a purple one, and it's lovely, but it's all kind of gone a bit manky and Limey. it's well, it's not just the slimy. It's got like. You know, they kind of go a bit brown after a while. So, like, uh, anyway, just just want to buy him a new one for Christmas. But um, but don't tell him, you know, don't want any of you guys telling him in bark that, in bark, <laughs> don't send it in, <laughs> in bark, uh, if any of you can speak bark, I don't know. Um, unless you're a tree, you might be able to speak bark. But um, anyway, so, yeah. If you can, please let me know. I mean, like, obviously not just America. Jamie if you've got it in. Gets three for thirteen ninety-five dollars. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Jamie. Three for thirteen. I don't know what that is. I'm just looking. At All right. You could have asked. He who shall not be named. Thirteen ninety-five. Yeah. Thirteen yeah. ninety-five. Dollars to you, rupees. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's just doing a bit of a conversion going on. Yeah, so. Dollar to pounds. Dollar Sterling. Pounds. It's £11.30. Wow. Three for £11.30. Oh. <gasps> That's good. That is good. What are they? Are they balls or bones or whatever? I was just asking, does he like the ball or the one better? Well, he's currently got a ball. He had a bone that he used to carry around as well. Um, he went through a phase of... I'd say bone more than ball. Yeah. He treat, the bones, he treats it, he carries it around like it's his puppy. And he puts it gently down wherever he goes. And, and has it lying to next it. to him. And <laughs> to touch it or go near it. Or... And he hates it if you squeak it. <laughs> he to, he, he, the first one he had was purple. And we used to call it the purple puppy. Yeah. And he had it for... <laughs> He had it for well over a year, and it's the first time we'd got a toy for him. That he hadn't chewed so in five minutes. <laughs> Everything else you ever bought me ripped to bits within a couple of minutes. <laughs> but yeah, he carries it around. He's got a ball now, but he, he kind of plays with the ball as well. Yeah. So I'd like he, um, to. Jamie, he's had both the purple and the orange. He yeah. Said the picture shows one purple, two orange. Yeah. Yeah. He's had both, and I think it's just the shape. So yeah, I so I just thought I'd ask you guys because like, you know, you have exposure to these things, like cheaper things. I mean, I don't know how much it would obviously cost us to ship it. Um, obviously on like. They're that heavy though, are they? No, they're not heavy. They're kind of yeah, they're kind of filled with that kind of foamy stuff, aren't they? And it's just, they smell nice as well. I think they smell nice, but they smell of bacon. So. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so, so what shall I use now? I'll use that one, maybe. So I'm going to use this one. Um, so, yeah, wetting it. I actually prefer the wetting it technique first because it's, although it gives a different finish, it also means that it doesn't go wrinkly as much. I mean, the wrinkles will kind of drop out it's like stay press so <laughs> like you remember stay press clothing mm -hmm. you just like rinse it and give it let it dry yeah stay press nylons 
Um, get your nylons out, give them a shot. <laughs> shut up, Dave. So, yeah, so, uh, you know, you guys over in America, we offer a lot of exposure to stuff that we just don't see, or when we do see, I, it's just ridiculously expensive. I mean, I, I didn't mind paying three ninety nine. I mean, three ninety nine. Uh, so it's four four pounds, all but a penny. Um, Alexa, what's four pounds in dollars? Four pounds is about four US dollars and ninety cents. About four dollars ninety, apparently, is uh, four four pounds. So um, you can see how they were so much cheaper. <laughs> I mean, like then, obviously nowhere near as cheap as buying three for whatever it was, eleven. Eleven. What did we just say it was? Thirteen ninety-five. Yeah, but what did we just convert it to? Eleven something, wasn't it? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, not as cheap as that. So, um. But yeah, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, I, I kind of got a bit blase. I like when I bought the last one. I kind of thought, oh, I'll only buy one. Because I'll see them again. No, <laughs> big mistake. Oh no! <laughs> and and before that, we'd seen them and like, you know, not needed one and thought, no, 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 we don't need to buy one. No, mm, do now. <laughs> Regretting it. But yeah, it's the only toy that he hasn't chewed to pieces. Um, and he hasn't like he often punctures them, and so they don't squeak anymore. Although he doesn't like them being squeaked, but. You know, yeah, you don't like them being squeaked, but once it's squeaked, it's done. Yeah. My child is dead. Get yeah, me that's it. Doesn't want to deal with it. Doesn't want to play with it anymore. It has no <laughs> life. <laughs> life? What real life? No life. <laughs> no squeak. <laughs> um. So yeah, thank you. If anybody's kind of like you know researching now, you're all like, you're all on it now. <laughs> What's the best price we can get for this? Like, I don't want to be ended up like buying a container of it because it's because <laughs> it's cheaper. Oh, Leslie. So yeah, because I looked them up and I was like, oh my gosh, they're like available in Walmart and all sorts of things. Like, wish they were just. Everything is pricey here. Small. Yeah, a small island. Small island, Small island and that don't make anything uh, yeah, we don't make anything, and also we don't make anything and um, Brexit, <laughs> so we're no longer in the EU. Yeah, Brexit. Yeah, that. Leave it there. Brexit. It has to answer for a lot. But the majority want to do it out, so out we are. Against my best judgment, anyway. What's that? I said, but the majority voted for us to be out. So out we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah. And, and now people are starting to realise, oh my god, all the prices have gone up. Oh my god, everything's expensive. Why can't I get this? Why can't I go to France? Why can't I? Yeah, oh yeah, hol people complain about That's having to pay I'm more for holidays yeah. and, <laughs> and visas and things like that. Yeah, because we're not in the EU. That's why. And why aren't our fuel, our fuel prices capped like Germany? Because Germany's still in the EU when we're not. <laughs> um, I'm missing something. Are you? Ah! <laughs> so Brian's just said, I'm missing something. Leslie and then he's said, gone, ah! So he's missed something in the chat. Yeah, Leslie said, hi, Nancy. And I was like, Nancy, Nancy, I've not seen the Nancy. Where's Nancy? And Nancy from Wishes and Weaves is here. Ah, oh, hello, Nancy. Hello, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't spoken for a long time. How are you doing? <laughs> so, we were, just, we were just having a moan about prices in the UK. So. <laughs> and Brexit. <laughs> and Brexit. <laughs> and <laughs> that, Let's not go there. <laughs> so shall I do another another non-Tim Holtzy one or shall I do a Tim Holtzy one? I, I really want to do this one, actually. I'm going to do a non-Tim Holtzy one and then I'll come to a Tim Holtzy one shortly. So, mm -hmm. the deal. Well, not not not, yeah. not striking deals with anybody anyway. So <laughs> I'm doing it. So I just really like this one because it's different. Kind of, it's kind of very um, V and A because <laughs> it's V and A. V and A. V and A. Uh, 
Is it medieval? So I'm gonna, I'm, what I'm going to do is, let's see if I can put this down without it sticking to anything. I'm going to cut along this fourth square bit with a bit of Luke. Falling oh, into you. Four and a half. Bones. Woohoo! Oh. Good. Let's just get four and a half as well. Oh, what? For, yeah, but how, like for how much? <laughs> so. Because we'll, like, we'll, we'll have one before Christmas with all of us. Oh, okay. cool. <laughs> oh, bless. Thank you so much. He's getting so old. I just want to buy him something nice because he's so old. He looks so old now. He's going all grey around his muzzle and like, it, to be fair, his dad looks a bit the same. So, he can't um, walk up the hill. Anymore. He can't walk up the hill a bit like his dad. A bit like his dad. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, he's, but, you know, it, it's nice and like, and it's really nice because Vic really likes him as well. So, like, I'm glad I found a, a fella that like likes him as as well. So, because um, it's really important. And he likes Worcester, and he likes Worcester, and Worcester likes Vic as well. So, that's good. It's funny because like he came the other day, and he came and he, and he walked in, and he like opened the door and just walked in. He didn't like you know knock. And um, Worcester went over and was wagging his tail as though I I'd come home from work. So. It was just nice. So it's become very domestic <laughs> very quickly. So I'm going to use this one. I think this is lovely. Right, so remember, we just need to paste this on. Let's give it a bit of an idea of where we're going to go to. About there. I will not remember where about there is. Let's go. Let's just paste to that. Right, okay. Now, about there is now there. And just paste some of this on and try not to kind of get it splashed everywhere Dave although getting it splashed everywhere I'm having a brute 45 moment brute f splash it all over $17.98 for four for medium sized dogs for it's medium sized dogs it's supposed to be a medium sized dog <laughs> it's just an extra large <laughs> <laughs> it's like his dad <laughs> It's supposed to be a medium, but he's an extra large. <laughs> so just like his dad then. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. I am trying to lose weight. I, I put on... I've put on two pounds this week. Now, the reason I put on two pounds is because uh, Vic is originally from Hungary. Um, and he has been making a few Hungarian dishes. Has he made any Hungarian dishes? No, he hasn't. He made... Um, his version of carbonara, um, which was very heavy on cheese, um, very heavy. I mean, like you were talking about a, you know, a, a, a triangle of uh, Parmigiano Reggiano, um, and uh, like used nearly all of it <laughs> between the two of us, um, and like seven eggs. Uh, <laughs> so it was, it was delicious, but he also uses a lot of butter in things. So he made scrambled eggs, which were like kind of, it was kind of 50-50 ratio uh, eggs to butter. <laughs> well, it tasted like that. It was lovely. Don't get me wrong. But it, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. And the, pro and the big problem is he said, but I like you just the way you are. And so that's not helpful. That didn't help me lose weight. <laughs> So, there we go. So, he likes me the way I am. Just the way I am. Do, do, do. Sorry, um, I think <laughs> there's a song in there, isn't there? But like, I'm not going to go there. Not going there. Love you just the way you are. I don't know the tune, so that's what, probably why I'm not going there. Smooshing this on in a smooshing kind of way. That smooshing so action. Like, the dogs have good judgment, it must be a good guy. Yeah, they do have good judgment. Absolutely. If dogs don't like somebody, Let's you can bet your bottom. Oh, wow. Well, you see, now it's all becoming even more complicated because <laughs> here, we, it was like, it's this or forget it. <laughs> if your dog is a chihuahua, it's just going to have to be like its brother. So, um, I don't know. It was about about that long the ball the, sorry not the ball the 
the bone. So we've got to measure the one he's got where it, oh no, it's got a ball now, hasn't it? It's got a ball, yeah. So it was about that long, I yeah. think. Yeah. So, so how long is about that long? <laughs> about that long. Oh, I, I've changed. Inches. It's gone like this now. It's like about when. <laughs> about, about that. Inches. About six inches. Yeah, about yeah, six about inches six ish. Inches. It might have been seven. <laughs> Could have been five. No, I don't think it was five. I don't know. Anyway, it's that big. So, <laughs> we're talking about the bone. I'm just pointing out. Um, <laughs> just in case everybody else's mind has gone somewhere else. Um, so, yeah, the bone is. So. Uh, that Jura bone, I d and like the ball is probably about that sort of shirt size, yeah. Like the kind of like it's bigger than my fist, right. isn't it? Is it up here? I think it's down the side. <sighs> He's I kind of lost it. He was having a bit of a whine this morning because he couldn't find it. So, um, I think it might be down the side of the bed. So, but I could be wrong. So yes, he um. He loves it so much. He really, honestly, I've never, never known a dog to get so upset about it. If it goes, he won't. So if it goes under something in the living room, he won't get it. Even if he can get it, he won't get it. I think he's kind of been trained. Like before he came here, I think he was trained not to do. Just, you know, you know what dogs can be like. They're just kind of like bulldoze their way through everything. No. It, that, that, you know what it needs? It needs one of those Apple Air tags on it so that you can kind of recall it. Okay, not sure where it is then. So, can you do me a favour? I've put a glass mat on the top of the stuff. Can you just stick that on the glass mat? It's on the top of the table around there. Oh. So I'm really getting through these now. I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to make them all. I'm going to turn them all into. I'm going to sit. So one, I'm going to sit um, over the course of the next few week. Over the course of the next week, because I'm not seeing Vic until next. Well, I'm seeing him tonight, and I'm not seeing him again until next weekend. So it'll give me an ideal opportunity to kind of sit in the evenings. What are you laughing at? Somebody's saying something, obviously. <laughs> oh, I'm back. What are you talking about? Bones. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually talking about crafting, talking about bones and balls. What kind of show is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you know, basically the kind, the kind of topic that you get with me. So, um, <laughs> this is, uh, this is me <laughs> in a nutshell. So, oh, Brian's not in the room at the moment. He's going to make me a cup of coffee, so it's very kind of him. <laughs> this is what you need, is you need friends that just kind of, like, make coffee on cue. Um, so I'm getting a bit parched, actually. I've got, I've got a really kind... Not a sore throat. A bit like, you know, anybody that suffers from hay fever. I don't know whether you do. Um, but sometimes you get kind of that raspy throat. I've got a bit of a raspy throat. Not a raspberry throat. That'd be, that'd be different. I'm quite happy with a raspberry throat, but... Um, get my. I really love this one as well. In fact, you know, because I've bought all of these tissue papers, I really love them all. So it'd be silly if I'd bought them and gone. I don't like this one because I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. So, so I'm going to do this. Oh, I was going to do another Tim Holtz, wasn't I? Let me do this one and then I'll do a Tim Holtz. Or will I? Duh, duh, duh. I bet that's not very straight, is it? No, that is not straight, Dave. No. Again, I do not do straight. It's um, International Pride Month. I am going to be proud of my ability not to not be straight. Because um, <laughs> it entertains me. I don't know. I think I folded that terribly now. I don't think that's the way it was. Oh, well, it'll do. So. So I'm going to stick this one down, and then I am going to do a Tim Holtz one on the bit that I've got left, I think. Well, I'm going to move on to something else, I think, after this. I'm going to try. Not something else doing just a different substrate. This one? This one with the ferny kind of thing on? The ferny... What I don't, is it called something? T 
tissue paper. Um, <laughs> this ferny one. Oh, it's called. Maureen says it's a one man only dog show. Fern fever. It says something there, and I can't pronounce that. What's that say? Brian can't read it. So. <laughs> Brian's got his long arm out now because he can't read it. It's, um, I don't know, like, um... It's P-T-R... No, P-T-E-R-I-D-O-M-A-N-I-A. -I -I like Latin or, um... For... Prehistoric for fern. <laughs> Fertimorodom... Any of yeah, no, don't. Obviously, I'm dyslexic, so trying to get me to pronounce something. <laughs> it's that anyway. So, um, you never know. You never know how to pronounce these things. And the thing is, when you put them into Google, and like you have, it all depends on where you come from in the world, what kind of accent you might have. Um, how it pronounces them, so even if it's, because it's AI, it's not, it doesn't know all of the words, it kind of just knows roughly how to pronounce them, so it might get it as horribly wrong as you do, so. So anyway, um, it probably means something, or it might not mean anything, who knows. Uh, shut up, Dave, should we get on with this? Shut up, Dave, just talk about stuff that you know about. I'm not talking about anything because I don't know anything anything about anything really, so that's <laughs> why so I went silent. Um, but um, I feel a bit giddy as well today, just a bit. Although I did eat rather a lot of sugary things yesterday, that might be the reason why I feel a bit giddy. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, I kind of got a bit carried away. I was like, oh, we need to make, let's make some with like ordinary tissue. And because I knew you could, and I have made it with ordinary tissue before, um, but I wanted to uh, get some more. And I thought, I don't need any more tissue paper, but I still bought some. So I wanted to show you that you didn't need to use Tim Holtz tissue paper. So, like, you know, like the last time I used Tim Holtz tissue paper and I used napkins. This time I wanted to do it differently so that you can use what you have. Do not go and buy more. So like, you know, I'll buy, I'll use a cheap brush. Like those brushes were really cheap as well, but they're a bit soft for this. Um, in fact, they're very soft. In fact, they'd be really good for gilding. And when I do my gilding stuff, they'd be really good for that. Um, so yeah, so don't go and buy stuff because I know that there is that kind of you feel like you have to use what other people use don't <laughs> stop desist step away from the shopping aisle step away from Amazon and these didn't all come from Amazon actually um, in fact they I think mm, yeah they all came from the same place which is something bees um, I can't remember what it, what it was. I'll see if I can find the email in my in my emails. The email in my emails, Dave. That's usually where you find your emails. Um, I realise some people have messaged me. I think I think there's some people who have messaged me. Um, but I cannot look just now because I'm live. Live? What real life? No live. So, yeah, I don't know, somebody's messaged me, but I can't find it now. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, um, what was I looking for? Where I bought the tissue paper from, Dave? That, back in the room. Back in the room, Dave. Tissue. Oh, Bees Emporium is where I got these from. This is a UK thing. Um... Yeah, I, I got the three V&A ones from Bees Emporium. So this one, this one, so this one, this one, and this one all came. They're all the V&A, uh, so the Victoria and Albert Museum ones. Um, they came from Burt's Emporium. No, sorry, Bees Emporium. Um, and the florally one, this one, 
This came from Amazon. So it's just normal gift tissue paper. So I'm just gonna go and take this. Just need to take the thing off a minute, otherwise I'll uh, I'll snag myself or garrot myself with my own leaf. I forgot I was talking to yeah. you, and you, I'm, t I'd taken my mic off, haven't I? Yeah, I'm getting a bit sticky now. It does get a bit sticky. Don't wear your best clothes like I changed my shirt before I started this for that reason. Okay, so I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use some of the Tim Holtz this time. Fold that up. I'll use that again at another time. Um, I need to get some more of this. No, this this um, canvas came from Scrap, uh, which is the the crafty, recycly place that we go to. Um, saves uh, industrial stuff from going to landfill. Um, so it came from there, and like we, there were like bags, and uh, there were like six in a roll for. And obviously the six were double because they're bags, so I've torn them apart. Um, and they were six for a pound, I think we we believe they were. Brian bought two lots, I bought one lot. Um, so I'm just using these. Uh, and I, what I was going to do is I'm going to move on to some other things that you can do, you can use. So... Um, because we've only been going for an hour and a half, no, an hour and 20 minutes, something like that. Um, so we've got a bit bit more time together. About, maybe another 40 minutes, I think. Might do a two hour one. Um, Vic's coming at about, probably about six. So I shall have to go and beautify myself by then, obviously, of course. So. Find the end is a good idea. There we go. Find the end, it's a good idea. There we go. So, yeah, this is uh, one that I hadn't got. It's one of the Tim Holtzy ones. It's stuck down. Find my squeegee. There we go. Well, I say squeegee. I I'm talking card. <laughs> It can be any kind of card, it doesn't have to be a SIM card. It's just cheaper than buying anything, really. Just use one of those old cards that you've got, one of the old loyalty cards that have been lying around a while. I'm going to cut it off there, Dave. I'm trying to be wasteful of it. It's Tim Holtz tissue paper, let's face it. So it's, it's made of platinum or whatever. Whatever it is, so I've got that in today. Well, something a substrate more expensive than platinum. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the top of it, just to give it kind of that kind of more glossy finish and also it pr more protective that way. If you want to leave it without, obviously, you don't have to go over the top. The only things you will have to go over the top of are, well, the only things that you won't get any difference from is napkins, because it'll soak through anyway. But the tissue paper, it doesn't soak through. Um, but I would suggest that if you're using just normal paper like I've done, like I did earlier, that you use, that you go over the top of it as well. So, um. But you know, with the tissue paper, it's entirely up to you. It's kind of got like a glossy finish to it, anyway. The tissue paper, well, it's, I get, it's not glossy, is it? It's satin. So, nights in white satin. <laughs> Don't know the rest of the tune, so I won't really sing it. It was just a reference. <laughs> so, let's take this off. Right, I'm going to have to take this off again. Take my mic off again. Clip it to something else this time. 
just going to take this off. What have I missed? And go and make <laughs> me make this. I don't know if you can see that. Don't know what you think because you didn't see the chat. So, so Brian. Brian's back now, so he'll be able to tell me what it says in the chat. Matt, go to the top of the page says, Do you have a star called the range? Some of your peer yes. practice mentioned in Star for Crafting. Yes, we yes, do. Yes, we do. Mm. I will say, with the range, it's a bit hit and miss. Mostly miss. It <laughs> tends to sell a lot of crafty things for, like, just... Oh, I don't I'm not not normal crafters, but do you know what I mean? For more card makery type people and lots of like kit things, and it's it doesn't really sell the kind of stuff. I, you know, like when you guys have talk about Hobby Lobby, it's nothing like that. It's not like Joanne's or whatever the other Michaels. Um, it's not like anything it's, like that. It's basically, it's a home furnishing store. Yeah, it's a and it has a craft section, and it very much depends on, I think, who runs the craft section in each store. Um, yeah, I think... For instance, we used to have a local one, and the craft section was appalling, but there's a town not far from us called Halifax, and they used to have a range, and if you went in there, it was bigger, better, everything was in order, everything was priced, it was tidy all the time, it was beautiful. Yeah. And you could tell that it was looked after by, and ordered for by a crafter. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, I think it definitely depends on who cur is curating. I mean, like, they don't get to choose what they have. It's all, you know, it's all branded stuff and it's all, like, every range is the same, but yeah. it definitely depends on who's... Yeah, Jordan. Looking after that department and whether they have an interest in craft Jordan as to whether. It looks nice, but not like our craft stores. It's no. like an aisle or two of stuff. It is. That's, That's right. absolutely it. It's an aisle or two. If that, some some of them, you're lucky <laughs> if it's that. And um, Debbie's just arrived. <laughs> Hello, Debbie. <laughs> and she's got running in the back door and sliding into a chair in the back. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Debbie. <laughs> oh, we know about you guys that sit in the back. So. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Throwing peanuts over the balcony. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or throwing peanuts and um, making smoochy noises. <laughs> That's you, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be sat in the back row these days, so smooching. <laughs> Kissing in the back row of the movies on a Saturday night with you. <laughs> Holding hands together. <laughs> Holding hands together. You were so. so, these are some of the things. You need to go on tour. On tour yeah. on, you're on my toe. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's a, it's a running joke. If you if you're not here, but there are stars that we need to go in. If there are, if you if you if you're very new to here, you won't know that I kind of have this running joke with Brian about the fact that toe and tour to him when he says it sound very much the same. So if I'm on, if he's on tour, it, it could be on his toe. So, <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I've made. So this, this is, um, this is like linen. Uh, it's like table linen. It's the kind of, you know, hotel catering linen, isn't it? it? It's a, it's yeah. A hotel, yeah. It'd be like the kind of stuff that you'd have, a, a, like you know, in a conference suite or a banqueting, banqueting hall, or the, it might even be. It reminds me a bit of um, of hotel, uh, sorry, of hospital bed sheets, the way that it used to be. Like I don't know whether they are now. They're probably poly cotton now, but they all used to be like really like heavyweight, heavyweight <laughs> cotton that used to be boiled to death and be like right scratchy yeah. and you'd probably sustain more injuries from the sheets than you had when you went in yeah, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> but yeah it's <laughs> it's that kind of thing so this also came from scrap um and it's rather big and i will not open it out but i wanted to kind of see if we could do something with this so um well i'd see if we can i mean we i know we can but 
I'm going to do. I have to cut it up. I've never cut. I've had this for about a year and never cut it. So <laughs> I'm cutting into it. I'm going in. So, yeah. So the range is, in my opinion, so not. I mean, like you know. Yeah, occasional. Like you'll go in there, and and it will be like Brian says, it'll be occasional. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. And, but like, they'll, you'll never see it again. <laughs> they'll have got rid. They'll have discontinued that because it's too nice. They only they want only want to stock the hideous things. <laughs> in your opinion. In my opinion. In my <laughs> humble opinion. I was thinking. Oh, I could make shopping bags with my. Um, Digitals on. I could put a my own digital on it and have it as a shopping bag. Oh, oh, oh. get me! <laughs> People will be stopping you in the street. Where'd that come from? <laughs> of Dave. So I was going to. I'm not going to cut that up. So I'm. I was going to, but I'm not going to. But you could use that. Obviously, I'm not going to. But you, you could. Um. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to make something with this. I might just cut this. So it's like where it's. It's whatever that's called. Hem. <laughs> hem. Is that what that's called? A hem? What? Is it only a hem when it's on the bottom of a... All a... oh, right. Okay. It's not... I always thought a hem was just on the bottom of a skirt or trousers. I thought it had to be... I don't know anything about this sewy business thing that people do. So I'm just going to cut that off because that's obviously... Is that a French hem or French... Whatever, it's because it looks like it's been folded over and then folded over again. So that's what the French one is, isn't it? A French seam. Is that a seam? French? When they fold French it over and, and fold it over again. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a French so seam. Right sides together and then just opening it out. Yeah. Put wrong sides together and then right sides together. So that all your raw edges are tucked away. Right. What do I want to do? Yeah, so I'm just I'm just gonna have a play on this one. I think I might try and do a bit of a. Should I do a bit of a play on this one? Yeah, let's play on this one. So let's put the, get it all wetted first. Have people said anything? Have I asked anything or no? Do you want me to have a look? Uh, I don't know. Lots of people said look. Yeah, Jodie, it's cheaper than everywhere. It's cheaper than the UK at the moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, how much is your fuel around the world? Let's do fuel prices. Okay. Range seam is a hidden seam, Don, yeah. So when you're making a seam, like I said, when you're making a seam on something, you put the right sides of fabric together, sew a seam, and when you open it out, it's on the inside. When you're doing a French seam, you put the wrong sides together first, and then you fold it back on itself and sew a second line so that the right sides together, so that all your raw edges are tucked inside. Right. <laughs> Blew my mind a bit with the, the explanation, but I kind of understand in principle what it is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's do fuel prices. Okay, so how much is your petrol, gasoline, whatever whatever you choose to call it? Let's not, <laughs> let's not get all hung up on what we call things. Um, how much is it? So, in the UK... $5 a gallon in New York. $5 a gallon in New York. Is that expensive? Mm, hang on. Uh, like, is it expensive to you, is what I mean? Because, like, I don't know what you have previously had. So, what? Are, so how many gallons... We've done this before. I don't know, you do it. <laughs> Alexa, how many litres in a gallon? One imperial gallon is about 4.5 litres. Alexa... How many litres in a US gallon? Here's something I found on the web. According to reference.com, a US gallon contains 3.79 litres. Okay. So you get 3.79 litres to a gallon. So Alexa, what's 5 divided by 3.79? 5 divided by 3.79 is approximately 1.3196. <gasps> 1.31 one, so 131 a litre one so wow. you're paying roughly 131 a litre we are paying uh two what pounds. was 
Just, just shy. Just yeah, just shy. So one ninety-seven point seven a litre. Um, Alexa, what's one ninety-seven times three point seven nine? One hundred and ninety-seven times three point seven nine is seven hundred and forty-six point six two. So that's the equivalent of seven forty-six. Yeah. So that's the equivalent of seven pound forty-six. No, seven dollars uh, forty. Seven dollars forty-six for you no, for a gallon 449 a gallon in north carolina so yeah so it, it's we are so this is that just kind of gives you a, mm, a bit of an idea of how expensive the uk is so we are nearly two pounds a liter <laughs> uh, whereas you're paying 134 <laughs> sorry sylvia said her alexa's going to i'm oh, sorry <laughs> alexa <laughs> <laughs> Alexa. Hi, Sylvia, by the way. Um, Hi, Sylvia. That looks like good tearing fun edge fabric. It is. It frays beautifully. So I'm just going to set you all off. Alexa. The world over. Tell Dave he's fantastic. <laughs> So it tickles me anyway, so like, <laughs> that's all that matters, isn't it? So <laughs> I'm just going to lean over you, Brian. I'm going to do some, I'm going to do another fabric -y one. I'm sorry, another napkin-y one. Yes, yeah, so let's get this, the napkin of shame, the napkins of shame in. I say that the napkins of shame because like, it's a shame that I haven't used them. <laughs> um, what's that? That's a peacock. Oh, we, might, we might have a peacock. Um... Yeah, so it's quite expensive. It's very expensive. I like during the lockdown I was paying about a pound one pound a litre. Okay. So and now I'm paying one ninety seven a litre. But at, just after pandemic and before all of this crisis hit, you know, with the Ukraine and Russia and all of this, we were paying about one thirty four a litre. So it's it it's honestly I'm I, it's crippling me. I'm like I have no idea how. Well, I don't know. I'm I'm a bit, a bit concerned because I don't know how I'm gonna you know work and get to work and afford to be able to get to work. And it's no different. So like, just, it doesn't matter where you're in the country you live. It might be a little bit cheaper in some places. Like we're talking a couple of pence cheaper. But it won't be. I mean, like you know you could perhaps go to the middle of nowhere and go and fill up but by the time you've driven there you've just like spent 50 odd quid to get there so um, yeah let's do something fruity the people that are driving are suffering my buses are on strike oh buses yeah buses are on strike buses and a massive pay ride. and trains are on strike trains are on strike it cost me 20 quid each way to go to work at the moment yeah, so uh, Brian's paying twenty quid each way to go to work because he's having to catch, he's having to get a taxi, um, which is, you know, obviously not. You can't sustain that. You, like, nobody's got that kind of money. So, well, the thing is, they they're on strike um, because uh, they want. So the trains and buses want to get a fourteen percent pay increase. A fourteen percent. Now, I'm all in favour of people getting better working conditions and better pay, but train drivers are on about 60,000, 65,000 a year. And uh, normal, so if you work in a shop, you're probably on around, what, 18,000 a year? No. So there's a massive difference. And, the, and it's the people on the lower end of the spectrum that are having to pay for the people at the higher end of the spectrum of, of wages because <laughs> if the people if you are on a lower income you're less likely to be able to afford to buy your own vehicle and so therefore you are having to pay public transport so i just think it's just shocking Man. it's shocking so anyway let's get a few of those out Maureen, not... Maureen i wouldn't even take clothes <laughs> So. Maureen says she'd, she'd need a spare suitcase for the return journey home if she shopped these days. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would go in the clothes that I'm yeah, wearing. Yeah, I, I would. And in a small backpack, I'd have a change of clothes so that I could wash my pants. I'd have, yeah, the I'd, have a, <laughs> yeah, I'd have a few. Yeah, I'd have a few pairs of pants. And, and then <laughs> the, maxim, the 
maximum of my luggage allowance would go on to bringing stuff home. Yeah, and when we're talking about pants, well, we're talking about underwear. underwear. We'd have a, a, a few bits of underwear. Um, got some pants I can rinse in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> and hang over a radiator. <laughs> So yeah, well, I, if I if I came to America, I'd be like, or or Canada, I'd be spending, spending, spending. Go, and people go, oh, what's in your what? What have you got in your suitcase? Nothing. It's empty. <laughs> oh, why, why are you bringing an empty suitcase? Into this how country? come I've seen you for fourteen days wearing the same clothes? Because I spent all my money on craft. <laughs> yeah. So I think I'm going to use this one, but I'm just going to. I want to think about a bit of composition going on here. So we don't want the Christmassy one. Much as I love you, I don't want you. Much as I love you, I don't want you. I don't think that one's right. I think that's a bit dark. Is it? Yeah, well, it's too dark. It's got a dark background. I don't like it. Well, I do like it, but stop saying I don't like it because I do like it. I like it. Shut up, Dave. Possibly a bit of that. Oh, I might have a bit of that. Mm. I don't think I've got many of them left, so I need to use it sparingly. Maybe this one. This will have dried out by the time I've got around to thinking about it. <laughs> um, People are taking to ride bikes to work, Jody says. Really? Wow. You know, think uh, like, good. things are really bad if you see me on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what they're expecting in this country because they've put a lot of investment into cycle lanes. Yeah. But uh, the only problem with that is we're a very wet country. <laughs> yeah. You don't, yeah, you don't want to be cycling in the in a British to rain. To all these places that have lots of cycling going on. But those places tend to be dry. Dry. It's not warmer, but generally dry. People cycle in the cold, but they won't, don't like cycling in the wet. Right, let's put this down. All right, I'm just going to... Oh, oh, mm, yeah. Gonna, uh, yeah. Still thinking. Still trying to think. Can't, can't find a composition that I really like. So I'm just going to go for it and put something down. Because what will happen is I'll put it down and then I'll go, Oh, I really like that. Uh-oh. Well, Brian's uh owing. Leah says email sent, so she'll start talking again. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, Leah, I love you. <laughs> oh, I quite like that one. Let's do this one. Let's put this one on. This was sent to me. I don't know who it was sent by. I'm sorry. If you're sat there going, it was me, it was me, then say so. Identify yourselves. So, oh, take that off. But it's a very well stuck together one, this one. Yeah. Jamie says she's not been to a craft store in years. She gets it all on Amazon or orders it from the online craft store. Yeah, well, I, I, we, we would if our, craft, our online craft stores were as good as yours. But our, our, even online, our craft stores are terrible. So, And terribly expensive. So, I haven't found a really good craft store, even online. Jamie says... Turn it the other way so the blue writing is on the cover. Oh. Oh. oh all right, then I will do. But I'll quite like that as well, oh. that way round. I shall do it that way. I'll have to put a bit more on because this hasn't saturated through. So I'll do what you say. I, I, I think she, the way it was, but so you can see the writing. Yeah, no, I should, so she means the writing's on the inside of the cover, I'd have thought. You should. Turn it the other way so the blue writing is on the cover. Ah. Uh... That's what I got from that. Yeah. But so I will do it. I'll do it this way for you, <laughs> Jamie. Front, so, oh, I see front cover. So she meant turn it so it's that end. So oh right, yeah. It, it shows on the front. Yeah. But, put but, it, but I'm putting tissue paper, paper on it. So. So that. But I'm going to turn it that it. way round because then it'll be on the inside of the front cover. And then that way, then yeah, I'm going to do it that way. I know that isn't what she meant now, but like I'm doing it. I'm doing my compromise of of that. Otherwise, because I I do me, you do you. 
Otherwise, it'll all get very confusing, and Dave won't actually get anything stuck down before this dries again. So, so I'm just going to tear this out. Mm, wasn't going to tear that one that, that way, but there we go. Oh no, let's tear that out. I'll tear that through there. Put that on there. This one says Hallmark cards on it on the uh, <laughs> on the actual napkin. My God, Hallmark cards! So it must have come from America because like Hallmark cards isn't really a big thing in the UK anymore. So used to be, but I'm gonna paint, paste. I'm gonna you know waft that on. Waft. <laughs> I'm gonna waft that onto there, Dave. And then I'm going to kind of not pattern match because I'm not going to get pattern match from that. But I'm going to, yeah, just don't want to have that straight edge. So falling into you. I don't know why that's in my head. Put that over there. So let's just overlap that. And then put this on there. Kind of go into there, and then where's my, oh, did this last time? Like hunt the squeegee. Found it. I found it. Slightly, slightly caught that. Now I'll either tear it off or put it back on. I'll put it back on. That's fine. And then I want to just lift that up. So that there's no public transport where she lives, so she has to be found. All right. That's even worse. Yeah, that You've is. Got no other option, and you have to pay the money that they want. Yeah, you're kind of then held to ransom, then, aren't yeah. you? Like highway robbery. I'm a dandy highwayman. So. Oh, I am indeed. <laughs> apparently so. I am. <laughs> According to what was his name? Adamant. 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 I'm adamant about it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Not I'm adamant about it. I'm ad I'll shut up, Dave. Stop. Oh, it's, there. it's not a joke when you have to explain it. Is it? So. Falling into you. Yeah, just bear with me a second, Brian. So, Brian has just asked for the scalpel. So, I just need to. No, I don't, he's performing an operation, I think. So, scalpel. Swab. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do shoulder surgery with uh, Dawn. <laughs> oh, well, you don't want uh, Dawn. Trust me, you don't want Brian doing your shoulder surgery for you. <laughs> I've seen how steady his hand is. My hands are very steady. It's just my eyes are cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Even worse, Brian <laughs> didn't actually help your situation there. My hands are very steady. It's just my eyes I can't see. <laughs> it's not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> do my <it by> feet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that would be good. I'd, uh, I don't know where I'm going to put the horse. Go down to the local store, tie it up outside. Lash up your, your horse. <laughs> Lash up your horse outside the, the store. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put the horse, though, while I'm... <laughs> I can't just be stood in my parking space. <laughs> Bars on all the parking spaces, you know, where you can tie them. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the both of us. For me and the horse. Mm. <laughs> Tesco's. Yeah, for me and Tesco's. Um, mm. Or I could. I could have it in the spare. Oh, I was, no, I can't have it in the spare room because we're in the spare room. <laughs> you have the horse in the spare room. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to have the horse even in, the even spare if we weren't in the spare room. It's ain't big enough for a horse. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> It's, it's size, a small horse. You it's get... about the size of a horse box, so if you were transporting it somewhere. But as a place to live, I'd say no. No, I don't think it'd like you'd get the horse laying down in Especially it. Because you've not, not got enough grass on your front yard with which you're going to And it's fake grass. It. <laughs> I'm, not sure, I'm not sure how well it'd do with that stutter. <laughs> no, I'm just going to eat plastic. <laughs> this might be a bit busy, this one, but never mind. We like we like busy. We're always a bit busy. I'm a bit busy. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna. I'm kind of just gonna 
make make it up now. <laughs> make it up as we go along. Bit of collaging. Make up your you don't usually do. I no, I don't do. <laughs> Leah rude. What was that? <laughs> Leah. She says, "Stop riding with your horses." <laughs> what? Rude. <laughs> Brian is my good friend. And surprisingly so. Still here. After all these years, Brian. Yes, still here. Because you won't unlock me. Won't unlash you from the... From your, you, what, how do, you, do you park a horse? Do you park a horse? No, you can't park a horse. Don't know. Don't know. What do you call it when you just... Te put, oh, tethering! Do you tether? Put your horse in reverse and back into this space. <laughs> beep, beep. Or it'd be... Nay, nay, nay. <laughs> <laughs> this horse is reversing. <laughs> I'll get you back, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> when you least expect it. <laughs> oh, let's move these out of the way, otherwise we're going to end up with like this is going to be a bit of a catastrophic disaster, isn't it? So, you can hear that wobbling outside. Wobbling? Oh, yeah, ne next door, I, I think the kids are out in the garden, like wobbling. Or wobbling. I might be wobbling. <laughs> It just sounds like warbling. Put that. Get rid of them. Okay. So. Oh, let's just put a bit of a mishmash on here with all the bits I've got. Let's just tear all the straight edges off so that you can't see it so much. It's singing, Brian. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> It's blur. <laughs> that's, that's why. Oh, it's wobbling. Then. <laughs> oh no, it's not. It's not. It's not blur. Sorry, it's not blur. Yeah, that's you in the corner. It's REM. REM. Yeah. yeah, that's me in the in the spotlight, losing my religion. I just oh, thought okay. I now saw you, you uh, smile. Now you've said it. <laughs> That's me in the corner. That's me with my horse. <laughs> yes, and if you have no idea what we're talking about, <laughs> don't know what we're talking I about. I also have great Neither do we. <laughs> he said, being ignored. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hear you, that's why. <laughs> yeah, <we're joking. laughs> Leah says, Love you really, Brian. Oh no, Brian's part of the design team. I must not be rude here. He may, he may ruin my chances. <laughs> he may. I'm just going to stick a few bits on. We're just going to. You, you can't really make a mess of it, can you? <laughs> he says. <laughs> Making a mess of it. People are going. People that are watching are saying, <laughs> Do you want a bet? <laughs> You're already doing that, Dave. Never. Just making a, a mess. No, I'm just... <laughs> oh dear, there is warbling. There's, there, that's because they're singing, Brian. <laughs> it's because our neighbours are singing. Just be careful. Just, you know. Well, I say our, our neighbours. My neighbours. <laughs> the heady warble. <laughs> Of singing. <laughs> the heady wobble of a neighbour. <laughs> so I'll take these out. Let's get those off there. It's these um these butterflies again. They've reappeared. They kind of need to kind of cover up the hallmark card bit. But so I might put that one there. <laughs> You laughing at? All <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Trying to button me up. It's not working. All oh, right. Is it not? No. She gone Jamie, gone too far to kind of come back. Jamie says, "What are you and Rich planning tonight, Dave?" And Leah said, "Brian, you are the most wonderful person ever." Oh. 
uh, hang on a minute. You, oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Let me just say, hang on a minute. It's my design team, Leah. He's the most wonderful person, the most wonderful person ever. He, he's, hang on. <laughs> Says the wrong thing, but you know, appreciate the sentiment. Um, yeah, it's a, a conversation of Dave. It's a conversation anyway, of design team. <laughs> what, are you, what are you and Vic planning tonight, Dave? Jim is asking, and I'm um, sure everybody else is wondering. So um, he's he's coming to see me because he's going to be working like long shifts over the course of the next couple of weeks um and so and they can't bear to be no and so he's not going to stay um but we're going to uh he's going to eat with me and then make out yeah <laughs> i do <laughs> like teenagers yeah so mark there you go mark my words so mark nothing we're not doing anything specific we're just gonna <laughs> you know just going to play it by ear, i.e. not do anything. <laughs> not anything I can tell you about anyway, so. <laughs> Dave, you're the most, yeah. I am. Is a queen, that's for sure. Do I want to leave it there? Don't want it to be too garish, do I? Should I leave it like that? <gasps> Sorry, I'm having one of those oh moments God, of. <laughs> what? I'm going to eat you. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, I thought someone was going to eat me. <laughs> hey, Brian. I don't think so. He's trying to lose weight this week, so. I'm sure I'm actually not this week. Oh, aren't you? Well, I didn't go, did I? No, I mean, like, this coming week. You're not going on Saturday. Oh, I probably will, because I'm working a I'm working, but I'm working a So, yeah, so Brian will be trying to lose weight this week. So, like, he won't be in the mood for eating anybody, so... Or anything, <laughs> for that matter. Well, if you say try, I might try. I might give it a go, so I might a Wednesday or something, so... <laughs> I may. I may not. We'll see. Yeah, well, Brian really doesn't worry about the. <laughs> Brian doesn't worry about losing weight, whereas I want to lose weight. Um, but you know, my partner <laughs> likes me the way I am, no. just the way I am. Whereas I think I am what I am. If I lose some, I lose some. If I stay a little chunk chop, then fair enough. But you're quite happy to point out to my dog that he's a little chunk chop, so. <laughs> Aren't you, Brian? I don't mind having a bit of a, whatever you call it. My roll of fat over the top of my jeans. <laughs> Bother me at all. No, well, I like the way, I like the like. I think I'm kind of close to where I want to be, weight-wise. I've, I've said that though that I didn't want to lose too much weight. Yeah. So. I don't think I'm far off. It's like. Well, you said about taking target, so. I know, but that's why I think that's why I don't bother because. All my clothes fit me and my jeans are tight. What more could you ask for? Yeah, my clothes fit me. I really shouldn't be... I can't afford to buy any more new clothes anyway, so like... Um, how old am I? I'm 53 years old and I'm 32 waist. I don't think that's bad. I'm... At the height of my fatness, I was a 38 waist, so... Uh, excuse me when you say things of fatness. Like, that's kind of the, the, the where I am. <laughs> um, You're also a lot bigger person than me. Yes, I've established. I'm Mick's got... just finished. Oh, has he? Mm, All right. The message that just popped up. Oh, I've just kind of completely ruined that. I've just pulled that whole napkin off. It says, don't worry if you are busy. <laughs> Drop everything. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> so, this is Dash of Dave's. So thank, thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> I'm driving and I can always get in. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You can get in. So, it's coming anyway. Yeah, it's got. <laughs> I've, I've, yeah, I've, I've kind of ruined that bit. I'm sorry, folks. Kind of pulled that bit distracted. off, but never, never mind. You're very sorry. Um, no, no, I kind of I just like, just took. <laughs> I don't know that I want to take that bit off now. Can I get that bit off? Oh, let's 
Do you have a scalpel? Brian, can I borrow the scalpel? Joe, how are you, darling? Hi, hi, Joe. Sorry. Work. What's occurring? What's occurring? Madness as usual. Yeah. Yeah. Let's remove this because, like, I've taken, I've accidentally removed it from the other side. So, mm -hmm. might just take this bit off now. That might, that bit might have to stay on because I can't get it off. Oh no, I can't. There we go. Right. Okay. Fine. That's better anyway. I think I prefer that. that yeah that's fine so we'll leave that one like that so there we go that's another one done i don't know if any of these are dry so i don't see maureen says well we've covered napkins dogs horses dog bones and viking eating <laughs> Viking eating dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much it, Joe. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, actually, this one's no need for dry. So, as I said, it's been a madhouse. <laughs> so this is the one I started with. So this is the one that we, we started with. Let me get. Let me clean the the deck first. Get this a bit a bit clearer. Then I said Brian was the wonderful person ever, and then Dave was like, excuse me, it's my turn to see. And then I was like, well, Dave, you're a queen. <laughs> and I was like, Dave, you are a queen. <laughs> so this is the one that I started with. So this is almost dry, this one. So um, this is the one where we made it with just um, paper. So we just did paper on um, thingy. Oh, Dave, paper um, on, what's um, this called? Um, Gambus. Paper on canvas. Stop a minute. Jamie says, in capital letters, put that blade away before you cut yourself. Have the blade back, Brian. <laughs> okay, thanks, so, Jamie. thanks, Jamie. <laughs> Saved by the bear. Yeah. Saved by the Jamie. Yeah, so this yeah, is the yeah, one that we started with. Um, and this was just the paper. Um, I think... Then this was the other one that we did with just with one of my papers, and this is the one where I wetted it. Sorry, I realised there was my thing on. And then the others are all just drying around the house randomly. So <laughs> this is still very wet. The one that you wet first before you paper it, paste it down is obviously going to be wetter and will take longer to dry, but it's worth it. Okay. So anyway, I'll show you all. all um, um, I'll show you them all. No wonder people think I said um, the V and A, um, the and A. Show show you um all. Show you them all. I will show you them all, um, like at a later date when they're all dry. Okay, because I'll be making them into journals anyway. So over the next course, of the next few days, you'll you, I might do a couple of random. Um, videos where it's just a kind of a craft and chat thing while I kind of just sew in some signatures or make up some signatures or whatever. So, so yeah, that's it. So, um, obviously, um, I can't say any more. So, yeah, the, the thing for the design team thing, remember, email me to dash of Dave, dash underscore of underscore Dave at gmx.com, which is up there. And I think you can see that in the thing, can't you? Yeah, um, you can. Yeah. 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 So um, I will. Pause it and zoom in, yeah, you might have to pause and zoom in. So, um, <laughs> but it's there. So it's it's dash. The word dash, underscore of underscore Dave at gmx dot com. So that's golfmikexray dot com. Okay. So just you need to email me and the details of the thing are as follows so design team you must have your own youtube channel um uh with some and you need to, uh, and sorry and you can have instagram um or facebook as a bonus but you need to have a youtube channel you need to be posting frequently um so posting either your stuff on there frequently 
or posting my stuff when you're, you know, you could be having a brand new YouTube channel and, you know, only just starting it up. So you don't have to have a pre-existing one. So if you, you know, you don't currently have anything on it, but, you know, you want to start. Ooh, I know somebody like that. Yeah, I know. I know somebody like that, and that's why I'm kind of hinting. Um, but I don't. But Brian said to me, "Why don't you message people?" And I said, "Because I want you guys to choose and not feel obliged." Okay. So there were a couple of people I had in mind, but I didn't want to say anything. Okay. So um, you will get free early access to all my digitals. Okay. You can make them for your uh, make things for your own use um, or commercial, so you can sell it. But you must tag me, so you must reference the kit that you've used or the kits that you've used. You, you know, if you want to kind of use lots of kits to make a, a dash of day of journal and sell it, then that's fine. As long as you reference what kits they are and you tag me in it. Not just on your YouTube, on your social media, but also on your Etsy. Um, you um, can choose what you make and where you want to make it. So, as much where you want and you know whatever you want to make entirely up to you um in order to apply send me an email to dash dash underscore of underscore dave at gmx.com okay with a photo of your best work or a couple of photos please don't send me 264 photos because you can't decide um just send me you know one maximum three photos um and if you want more details or you want any questions answered then either so for the more details um send me an email if you if you want any questions answered on becoming a design team member there will be more information to follow when when i decide on design team members um but if you want if you have any questions um or you've got any uh or you want more information email me in the first instance but if you just want to kind of just put in the chat or um in the conversation below um then i will um try and answer your your questions as much as i can so that's it so if you want to be part of the design team um you know you know what to do leah um class b has already applied so um i'm going to pick two people it won't just be, I, I'll, I will be the main decision maker, but I might also involve the current design team who are Brian, um, Leslie Pethybridge, and um, Joe Thornton, um, Thornton Cousins, I believe. Um, uh, so, um, yeah, so I might involve you guys if I'm kind of struggling. If I've only had two people apply, then... You know, it might be by default that you get the position, but also I might put it back out there and say, look, I want more people to apply. So, and if you get it by default, I'll make sure you never know. Yeah. So, and I'll try to make sure you never know because I'm far too honest. So, anyway, that's it. So, remember, I want to also say thank you to everybody that's, that helps me um, to do these things by buying me a coffee or uh, Kofi. Please, um, you know... If you can, help me out by buying me a coffee or Kofi, but there is no obligation to do so. Um, and um, don't forget, my Etsy store is still open, still selling stuff, and still, you know, um, still there. So, anyway, I'm going to go. So, I'm going to go and prep for my lovely, um, delicious, handsome partner um, who I am seeing, seeing tonight. So... That's Vic, that's you. So all right then. I'm I'm gonna go. Um and I will see you all soon. So you all take care, folks. My name is Dash of Dave. Please don't forget to like, please don't forget to subscribe, please don't forget to share, comment if you will, and I will see you all in the next video. Remember, I love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to, and I'll see you all very soon. You all take care. Have a lovely day, afternoon, evening, morning, or whatever time it is with you. Lots of kisses. Lots of hugs. Take care. See you soon. Bye. 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 Just lent in that. <laughs>